Hi everyone, Christina Mendonca here at the iHeartRadio studio and joining me is Tom Daves of eXp Realty here to give us kind of a market update because the market is changing, Tom. We're seeing kind of a cooling. We have seen a shift in the market. Of course, the inventory has gone up, which is number one is historical. It's seasonal this time of year. There's more homes going on the market. And also a lot of sellers are trying to get the peak value for their home. If we back up a couple of years, of course, this was all fueled by the pandemic. We had low interest rates and we had great activity. Sellers were getting 20, 30 offers on their home. Um, appreciation was actually going up. It's gone up over 29% appreciation. Um, but over the last few months, we have seen a cooling. We have seen less showings, less activity, less buyers and less offers. And we're getting back to more of a normal market because of the supply and demand. Right. So the Bay Area buyer has always been a factor in this market. You've talked about it so much. Is the Bay Area buyer still coming in to the Sacramento region? Yes, we are still seeing a lot of cash. Bay Area buyers um, had one couple that moved here from the Bay Area. They just recently purchased a home from one of my sellers before we actually even put the home on the market. So they were able to buy the home for cash and also allow her to stay for 60 days with a free rent back. So yes, we're still getting a lot of cash Bay Area buyers and a lot of millennial buyers as well. All right. No one knows this market better than Tom Daves. And what I love about um, what you've been doing lately, Tom, is solving people's problems. So let's talk a little bit about some of the problems that people bring you or the obstacles to selling or buying that they may have. Well, the number one problem is a lot of people want to sell their home without putting it on the market, without having the open houses and all of the showings. So we have an instant offer program where we can make them an instant offer where they don't have to deal with all of those showings. Another problem that they have is they don't know where to go. So we're able to find them a home and help them purchase that new home without selling their home and then sell their home later down the road. Ah. Another is fixing the home up. A lot of sellers don't really know what to do, how to fix it up, and plus they don't really have the funds to fix the home up. Well, that's, yeah, short supply right now. With inflation, everything is costing more. 100%. So we have a program where we can help them with all of the repairs, and then they just pay our contractors at the close of escrow. Great. So you've got the fix it and list it, the instant offer, the buy without selling. Those are all great ways to solve problems that people are having. You know, one of the things that you have said before, I've heard you mention it, is the five D's. And you said this is what keeps things consistently moving, buying and selling in this market. Sure, because right now people are a little bit stuck and unsure what's happening. So they're a little bit frozen. Frozen, should we buy? Should we sell? Right. And people will always buy. People will always sell. And so I go to the five Ds, the death, divorce, diplomas, diapers, and the daily <laughs> grind. People will always be making moves. Oh, that's so true. So I want to ask you, Tom, about luxury without ego. Uh, this is a, a phrase that you have coined. It's a service that you offer. And what's happening in the luxury market right now? Well, the luxury market is still strong. We are st still seeing cash Bay Area buyers. And we're able to help the sellers with a white glove concierge service that we call luxury without ego all the way from start to finish, whether it's fixing the home up, staging the home, helping to show the home, and help them sell the home so they can move successfully. Oh, that's so great, because people are so busy these days, and they're out there trying to you know, make their living or do their business or whatever, to be able to have you from A to Z take care of all of those things for them is huge. And that's what they really want. They want the experts, they want us to take care of all of the details from start to finish. And it's very fun. It's hard to get that kind of service these days. <laughs> it <laughs> that's is. For sure. That's yeah. great. So we love it. And a lot of our clients love it as well. 
With so many different headlines about what's happening in the market, how it's changing and interest rates, uh, Tom, I want to ask you about some of the fundamentals, things that are true to this market, no matter the headline. It always goes back to supply and demand. When the supply is low and the demand is high, that will drive values up. And that's the market that we're in right now. We only have 1.7 months worth of inventory, which is a seller's market. And anything between zero and three months worth of inventory is a seller's market. Four and five is a neutral market. Anything over five months worth of inventory is a buyer's market. So we're still in a seller's market. And based on The Economist, they're stating we will continue with a seller's market with approximately 3 to 4% appreciation over the course of the next two years, which more is more of a normal market. So gone are the days, perhaps, of the crazy auction-like atmosphere that drove everyone nuts <laughs> and more normal now, like what we, are, what we would expect to see. The high-octane auction-like market is gone. We're not seeing 20, 30 offers with, you know, 20 to 300,000 appreciation, um, which is really unsustainable. Mm -hmm. But the economists are saying that we will have more of a normal market, which is sustainable. And actually, over the course of the last 100 years, we've only had an actual drop in value one time. And of course, that was in 2008. But other than that, history shows values have increased three to four percent over the last hundred years. Tom, thank you so much for coming in and giving us a market update. A lot of people are wondering, you know, is it still a good time to sell or buy? And with all these programs that you have in place and all of the problem solving that you're doing, it really, you know, eases people's minds. Well, we're here to help. We have options, and we're glad to serve anyone that needs any advice. And if you need any advice, be sure to call my friend Tom Daves, 855-TOM-DAVES, 855-TOM-DAVES. Uh, he's got a whole list of answers to your questions.